Oh yeah, how is the bit the great bit wife experiment coming? Well you upgraded to ICS and uh yeah. glitch. Um Oh no. The email went to shit. Uh, and I can't explain it now. It's weird. Uh, I did look it up in forums, and apparently other uh, Razor users had issues with email or something, but it didn't quite. They had similar symptoms, but it didn't quite fit. And the thing that it was is truly to be scientific about it. Um, her the, the the iCloud mail that we use and I use. Um, you know, that came from my mobile me accounts. You know, we still use heavily. I'm too lazy to change emails fully. Um, so, sometimes it's intermittent with me, even on the desktops. Apple kept fucking changing shit around. You know, and you had to go in and, and, and manually set it. But I did, I swear I did that on a razor, and it, like, it forgot all the settings. Let me ask um, you a question. And then, then I put it back, and I guess it's working now, because I have checked it twice. But she noticed it and she was pissed off about it. Okay. And, uh, Let me ask you a question. Yeah. When, when you did yeah. the upgrade, did they make you do where you had to download this application and do the upgrade, or could you do that over the air? You did OTA. Okay. Yeah, they did OTA. Uh, it was, it was and she didn't know about it. My wife even knew about it. You know, I asked her. And, um, I don't want him to be super well, sure. The reason I was asking is because um, some of the devices were, um, they've done this weird thing, and a couple of Samsung devices have done it too, where, I mean, the big thing about Android is over-the-air updates, and what they've done is said to go to Ice Cream Sandwich, you have to download this application, which, by the way, is Windows only, doesn't run on OS X or Linux, to upgrade your phone to Ice Cream Sandwich. And a lot of people have been going, what the? <laughs> well, I, I, no, it was smooth. The actual upgrade was easy, and she actually got notified about it. Um, she Just decided to wait and tell me, and we're so busy that she had forgotten. And when uh, I think Bob asked me on Twitter, I had asked her, and, I, and she goes, oh, yeah, 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 I just forgot to tell you about it. And so we went ahead and did it that evening. <laughs> And install smoothly, and I and I swear to you, I know iCloud changed its settings, so I did it, and I know I freaking put it in the rain. Um, and all of a sudden, she, came, she complained to me, and I went back in there, and it was like the old iCloud settings. So I was like, huh? And I put them in, I put back the new settings again in there, and I guess it's, it's hell, but it, I, I found it just, I, it was weird. Um, Everything else is, is fine. She's created her own damn widgets on the, or gadgets, whatever the hell you call them. She likes those things. She puts like her little contacts on there. She's like had a couple other applications I know nothing about that she's, she likes. She knows how to, so, you know, she knows how to move them around. So it, it's not, Android is definitely not so esoteric as, as Apple people want to think. Because my wife asked me for a the iPhone. And she figured out how to do, you know, how to do some gadgets on, on the Android phone. I think I think it's pretty much speaks volumes for how it's treated. Well, oh, and I love yeah, the fact. It's because oh, it's an Apple device. I'm supposed to know what it is. Because if I buy yeah. Look, I'm, I I know lots of lots of people with iPhones. They get they, you know, but I'm just saying that with my wife, at least she asks me a lot. Uh, how do you do this, 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 and this? Where is this? I oh, mean, simple shit, like simple shit, like, how do I delete an email? My wife would ask me. You know, she, it, with Android, she seemed to figure those things out. And it, it really made me scratch my head, because I'm not the biggest Android UI fan either. But she seemed to figure that shit out. And I and I noticed something, too, on uh, on this and her Android razor. Like, if you swiped it, kind of like a WebOS gesture, it, it actually would like give you uh, user feedback. Gestures are not active, but if you would like to use this, it would say, so I'm paraphrasing, but uh, you know, gestures is not active. If you want to set this gesture to do whatever, uh, you know, click here, boom, you click here, and, it would, it, and then it would say, okay, it would show you, you know, right to left, left to right, and all of that, wow, that's pretty cool. Th that uh, is one of the newer features, and that was the real problem with the first 
with version 1 and early versions 2 of Android that there were all those features there but probably 90% of the user base had no clue they were there, so they've added some discoverability stuff. I think stuff. they did a good job. Whatever they're doing, and my wife is, is, is able to work herself through it and make it happen on a razor. So, uh, pretty impressive. And by the way, battery life is really good too on the phone. I, I, I heard you know early on that the battery would die daily. Her, hers can go two days. You know, and, well, and, and, but you and got the ex Wi-Fi on. I didn't do much. She uses those smart actions, though. There's like Motorola has this thing called smart actions. It detects where the hell you are in your, in your car, or home, and it does all these damn things. You know, bling 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 bling. Uh, based upon, you can edit those things. But um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, I, it's. D didn't you no get the point. extended life version for her though? Not the standard no, battery? No, I did not. I, I, it's the regular one that Verizon's had. It's not the Max. I don't know if there was a regular well, Razor. Max is like 300 bucks at the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but she... Uh, I, no. It, 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 I think that she... Did, was the ahead. UI changed for ice cream sandwich that any issue with her of it? No. Uh-uh. They could preserve everything. Uh, Everything, even though the, the, her custom wallpapers are no, saved. That, that's the thing that's both good and creepy about yeah, Android. It, it preserves all those settings, even across devices, as long as you're doing the Google syncing. But it's creepy in that it preserves all those settings across devices. <laughs> well, I would expect it to do that, though. You know, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's saving it anywhere. I think that. No, no, it is. It is. It's saving it in relation to your Google account and the sign. And the thing that creeps some people about that is like they, they go and log into a new Android device and their entire contacts and everything and all their settings and everything are just there. And that's because it's all been tied through your Google account. Oh, like, it, you know what, though? But I, as a user, I'm willing to do that. I, I do have people are going to be scared that have a Facebook phone, you know? Yeah. But I, you know, I haven't heard any complaints or much questions. And, and, and the only the problem was that email glitch. And when I looked at her phone with that email glitch, I saw this new stuff on her phone. I was like, you did this? Yeah. I was like, oh. So you know, <laughs> I was just like, okay, that's <laughs> cool. So, so far the results of the great bit wife experiment is if you want them to leave, if you want the non-tech sophisticated user in the house to leave you alone, get them an Android. I, I'm telling you, man, that, I guess my honest to God, it says no, I, I, I'm coming from a Mac user. I know, that's what's so funny. I, I'm just telling you, man, uh, I, and she likes the four buttons at the bottom versus the home button. She knows how to use those uh, quick, 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 split, man. I, I, and she used it in a way that I didn't even know how you could use it. I was like, wait a minute, how did you do that again? I mean, I asked her, we were like doing a navigation thing in the car, we go to SeaWorld frequently. Oh yeah, those, those, the, 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 the She like did something and I was like, what? Well, I mean, I, look, I'm not an Android user or anything, so, you know, but, but the, she's, 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 she did so, I was like, wait a minute, I, you know, I thought I was pretty savvy <laughs> with the Android, but, but no, she like did so, I was like, okay, do this again, so she showed me. Uh, uh, it was, yeah, it, yeah she's, she, yeah, it's good. I think that she likes it. That's good. Good. Now, okay. you know, I don't know if it, it, it's iPhone being her first smartphone and the learning curve had anything to do with it. I mean, but I don't think iOS is anything like Android. I don't think you could take anything from iOS and then say, oh, this is how it works on Android. Well, and honestly, that is the number one complaint I hear about Android from people who are just excessively dependent on the iOS way of doing things. They're like, why doesn't it work like iOS? Because yeah, legally it can't. <laughs> but my wife, I don't know. I guess maybe she didn't look at it to judge it. You know, I, she had come back from her vacation in Guatemala and it was more of a birthday present kind of thing. Uh, we were sick and tired of drop calls. And by the way, no drop calls in this phone. So, so awesome. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, she was disappointed because the iPhone is the cool thing to have. That, I always have said that, and she, she, it, 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 she will say that the iPhone is, feels more polished to her. But as far as just, I think she totally forgets about that uh, with the Android in terms of what it can do and its use. and. No, inter no interruptions, like if an attachment comes in, it comes in. Um, the, so, I, I don't think she has it. The iPhone's more pretty, but the Android does more. Correct. 
That, I think it does. Well, and the other thing is, whether we love or hate it as technology people, you have to admit Apple has done a great job in the mind share of creating that I want to have it brand. You know, I, you know how Apple does that? The design their products, the look like products of the future from the 1960s and 70s. <laughs> so they basically yeah. follow Star they, Trek? They really did. Yeah, go to the last link I sent in the chat. Um, the Gizmodo one? Uh, just click the very last link that I left. Yeah, I, I was going to say, w w which one of these stories do we want to go into? Do we want to go into the Windows 8 going to bomb one? Do we want to go into the brand design? Do we want to go into the... Well, but, well I mean, y'all are, I mean, because you're hitting on a point where Apple, the first three iPhones were not huge uh, in terms of... Uh, market share until iPhone 4. When it, iPhone in 4 in came, fact, the fir the very first iPhone completely yeah. bombed both on price point and usability. The entire user base rebelled. The only reason people embraced it is because the hackers created a marketplace for applications. They did. I mean, it was, it was yeah, people forget the history. I owned the first three generations of the iPhone. So uh, iPhone 4 is the beginning of the total ramp up, and you could actually see the sales numbers drastically jump from I, from uh, iPhone 4 on, and uh, it was it was just huge uh, difference. And you know that was when I abandoned iOS was when they went to iPhone 4. I, I my patience was worn thin. Um, hey, you think of iOS 6? Do you think they may fix that um, local database and stuff or no? You know what? I'm tired of everybody just attacking all this stuff. You know, even in Android or whatever. I mean, look, we want things to be more personal. Like you said, I want my video game to say my name. And, oh, you know, it's like, look, if you want to give something to something, then shut the fuck up. Because you want that experience, it needs your goddamn information. If you're going to bitch about it, don't tell anything. I mean, I What? Why would you want it? I mean, I... Look, I give, I, I, I use, I use Google for my context mainly because it, is it, it's extremely functional um, to go across all phones and the store. It is, it is the most functional. But I refuse to use Gmail because Gmail is not as efficient in the way I, I do it for my, for, for well, my. Well, but I will tell you that if you okay. ever use Gmail, every contact that you've put in there is in Gmail. I understand that. I understand that. Uh, I, I, I mean, it, it's one of the reasons in the back of my head, just because I don't believe I have the right to give somebody else's information to Google on their behalf. Right. When I add right. someone to my Android phone, I don't use their name. I use a code name that my mind knows, but I leave it to them to decide if they want to give that info to Google or not. Right. As opposed well, to me being an aggregator for Google. Well, here, let me, let me put this story in at the bottom. Very, 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 very bottom, because now that we're on topic, it's Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak who expressed the clap. Is he right? See, Wozniak is of my mindset on how I treat the clap. Exactly of my mindset. And I was so thrilled to read this article. And he was, because I don't like central computing in the cloud. I like the cloud to be a transport system and nothing more. Um, Everything else I have very, very, you know, this, we don't have to rehash it. I'm just simply saying that I was so thrilled to read some of the points that Wozniak had that I, I just think it's maybe it's this old school folks that have been there, done that. You know, and it's like, hey, you know, yes, this was much more expensive to do 15 years ago, but we did have it. There was a reason why we moved on. Well, you know, like, you know, like in the 1960s, we had these, uh, we had these terminals, we had these thin clients where we could just log in. We had a time used on these Unix systems, but yeah. like, okay, this was shitty. He's like, okay, now I have my own Docker. See, great. That's no. awesome. You can read it. It's called. It's from Forbes. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak distrusts this trust the Ooh. clap. Where it's did right. you put the link bit? At the very bottom of show notes. Uh, which which show notes? The eight twenty one or the seven one? Eight eight twenty one. TV. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. Oh wait, there. Uh, there's no one else on the show notes but you, or what? I'm on the show notes, I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't either. I'm refreshing them. Uh, no, that's you, Mr. Bitt. Now I see someone else popping up. 
Yeah, you're right. Your cursor is right up below it. There it is. Is there like a, a, a lag on Google Docs? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I, 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 I've noticed that. Google's getting a little weird out of the way. Wow. talking about that when we were talking about gaming earlier. Well, they're a cloud service. Right. The cloud. They also do a cloud desktop. Yeah, but always yeah see, like, see, so here it is. Here it is. This, if you must know, uh, all of you who have been with me for so long know what my big thing is. Property, right? Here's Wozniak. Wozniak also warned that with the cloud, you don't own anything. You already yeah. signed it away. Oh, I, I was just yeah, well, you don't own anything on the desktop. <laughs> you know, not necessarily, not necessarily, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, when it's your medium and your content and your safe doc, it's yours. Now, do you own or are you leasing an OS or? But okay, I don't care about the tool. It's the end. It's the end result of the creation of what I'm using it for. That's the, that. That is the property that is mine. Because. Water is on my documents. Turn it off at any time. I'm sorry. Was it on the cloud? They can turn it off at any time. Absolutely. I just loved this article. It was just, you know, and, and, and we don't have to go into it because I know this is something that we've gone in depth. And we can well, I, I'll put it in the show notes just so people can find it because it drives them nuts when we start to talk about something like this and don't cite it. Well, the thing about Apple's iTunes is that you can download it and it becomes physically yours, but or you can just Rented as long right. it, with, with some stipulations. Yeah, it's called DRM. <laughs> no, no, a lot of stuff in the iTunes marketplace is now DRM free. So uh, it is. It is. I wish the hell we could get movies DRM free. Yeah, but I don't know why, because you don't, you don't watch movies that often, but you listen to music all the time. Yeah, I, 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 I love it. And as for Netflix and Hulu, well, you're just renting those videos. And, and, and you know what? The only problem I have with that is um, because I, 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 I have Netflix, I use the Roku, and it, it drives me nuts when every so often they get in a tizzy over the rights and I'm in the middle of watching a series or a movie or something and it disappears for a few days because I'm like, I was watching that. <laughs> and just what for a few days? I, I've, I've had movies and or series, like I'm... I'm like on episode three of a season or something, and okay. and they lose the rights to stream it. Oh God, that's gonna suck. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like so. It's hey, like hey, I e y am always arguing. I love home foods, but uh, you remember when we had that conversation? Yeah. Well, but admitted, admittedly, ninety percent of the stuff I'm watching on Netflix is like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, I'll watch that again, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go nuts if it disappears I, I tomorrow. I've noticed that. There's like these streaming sites that say it's down now, but it'll come back soon. Well, what, and, and, and what that like, is... What do you mean come back soon? Like, no, what, like, no, what that is, is in coming. the same way the cable companies have to consistently renegotiate for access to the channels, the streaming yeah, services can continue said. to have to renegotiate well, for access to stream the material. Yeah, 
Don't you love it when you have to pay for something that's free? That's like the best business model ever. It's free, but you have to pay for it. So, what this like this is saying is that Xbox Live is an internet service provider, essentially. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to ask. I just, I guess, I'm, I've never been on this. Day. I don't even know. I'm just asking. It seems like you're paying for access. To to servers. Servers. Which is an no, 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 Bit. What he's complaining about is, is imagine if on an iPhone or an Android phone you had to buy the YouTube app. Hmm. And that, that's essentially what it is. You have to lease access to... Well, sometimes I do actually do that if it's like gives me a better... If it gives me a better, uh, you know, res uh, uh, yeah, user you experience. Well, but that, that's not the default YouTube app. That's like a third-party one. And you got to pay Microsoft Internet Explorer. All right. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, they have to have somebody pay for IE because no one uses it anymore. What is Commodore's argument? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That door. What the hell was that? Oh, yes, this place comes with a, with a door-is-a-jar security system. Places I can see that because honestly, uh, Tiny's logic when I was coming over here was, "Oh, well, that's okay if you take the Roku because I have the PlayStation plugged into the TV now." Interesting. Okay, hey, you know, I, I, well, but if Microsoft's true demographic is as such, they're not going to give a shit, you know. Because, I mean, that's. But uh, uh, Connor, you seem, but you seem very. Or, I guess, but on a, on principle, do you agree with it? Let's let's take the profitability out, you know, from Microsoft and all that. On principle, do you? I mean, you, I guess if I had my, my if kids if have a Wii. Play, if I didn't want to play on Xbox Live, I would say that's bullshit. But if I already have Xbox Live, I'd be like, oh, I get that too. But I'm just saying, like, All right, how much is Xbox Live? How much? How much? Sixty bucks a year. How much? Sixty yeah. bucks a year. Yeah. Well, it, well, but here's the here's the one thing I can see where that can be a real problem, and that is um, if you're in the Xbox ecosystem and the other ecosystems, you can go. Well, I don't want 
to spend money on this this month because I'm not gaming and I'm going to keep the rest and that's not an option. Basically the Xbox becomes a brick once you stop the subscription. I'll be, I'll be there in a minute. Uh, and I realize that Sarah Lee, uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, you lose access to all that uh, stuff. It's okay to pay for stuff that's free. So if somebody comes no, 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 and says, hey, the market again, they said it's a dollar ninety-five to get this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're not very good at checking yourself as whatever the hell your real name is. Well, you know what? No, wait, 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 wait. Let's, 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 because kind of say we're, we're paying for something for free. I think c cable or satellite TV is, is, is the biggest bullshitter when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, that I mean, I got to pay for local that. channels. No, I mean, there's many things in life where the actual medium or the con end content for some other medium is free. But because we're wanting a service for something else, we're paying for it. Which uh, is I, 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 you know, I, I largely ditched cable. The only reason it's back yeah. in my life is because the people here haven't ditched it. <laughs> um, give, give me a few seconds. i got to go uh, help my skills here. Well, I'm saying you cannot have double standards. When Microsoft makes you pay for stuff, it's bad. But when Apple makes you pay for stuff, it's okay. No, we what didn't think? say that. <laughs> It's bad when anybody makes you pay for something that would be free. Yeah, but he, does, he doesn't. No, he doesn't like. He doesn't say that bullshit when Nintendo or Apple makes you pay for stuff. Hey, how did that uh, Silent Hill update go? Uh, 